Hello, I'm Dia Arora, and uh, today I will be talking about the importance of education in the enhancement of other sustainable development goals, the current situation of education in India, and the need to shift to 21st century education. I will start off by discussing what education is. I believe this process of learning and developing can be termed as education. As we build on our cognitive and physical capacities, we also have a desire to pass the knowledge and training down to the next generation. In a broader sense, education is the process to develop the moral, intellectual and spiritual development of a person. Globally, education is viewed as a social institution that teaches basic academic knowledge, learning skills and cultural standards to youngsters in society. Each and every country or culture has a system of education. Education, therefore, is an important component of socialization that creates the behavioral framework for the society. Hence, education is the best investment to build healthy, prosperous, and equitable society. Um, I believe that education is the key to all other SDGs. I know that this is a very bold statement and that it puts education above all other goals, but the reason I say so is simply because of the change in thinking education brings about. As far as I understand, people who are educated have more willingness to take action. This is because they are able to understand the issue. Let me explain it to you with an example. Climate change, for instance. When a person is not educated, she is not able to they are not able to primarily understand what climate change is. And since they do not understand what the problem is, there is no way that they will find a solution or help in resolving the problem. They would not be able to understand why they must cut down carbon footprints or how they can do that. They would not understand why it is essential to preserve biodiversity and many other issues pertaining to climate change. Moreover, we must also recognize that these people are not educated will in fact be affecting the government schemes negatively. This is because governments are spending millions towards achieving sustainable development goals. Continuing with the example of climate change itself, the Indian government has launched the National Action Plan for Climate Change, NAPCC, which aims at creating awareness among the representatives of the public, different agencies of the government, scientists, industries and communities on the threat posed by climate change and the steps to counter. There are uh, eight national missions forming part of the uh, NAPCC, which represent multi-pronged long-term integrated strategies for effect, uh, achieving key goals in climate change. Now, these eight uh, missions have a budget of 74,000 crores. Now, this scheme in itself cannot be enough to overcome climate change. There is a lot of support that is required from the citizens to aid the government. These steps that are required from the citizens are small little steps that are required. For example, um, using public transport, not littering, uh, cutting down on carbon emissions, not using firecrackers. Now, these are very small steps to have a big, big, big impacts like preserving land, forests, trees, pollution. So now, when people are not educated, they are not aiding the government. The National Action Plan for Climate Change needs these small steps and actions to be aided along with it to actually create an impact that we can visibly see and notice. Now, when there is no education, there is no aid to the government, which in, in itself is not making the National Action Plan uh, for Climate Change successful and the 70 74,000 crore that has been spent on it is not having the effect that it should actually be having. So, I say that the education is the key to achieving all other sustainable development goals. It is also essential to understand here that education is at a very poor stage and situation in India of education is very poor, especially in government schools. Most of them do not have proper infrastructure like classrooms, blackboards, drinking water, toilet and sanitary facilities. There is a slow progress in building classrooms, labs, libraries uh, to strengthen government uh, secondary schools. The school environment is so suffocating that students are dissuaded from attending classes, which is why the dropout rate is so high. Several reports suggest that nearly 70% of the students studying in government schools are ill-equipped to learn in the class they are admitted. India is also dealing with a scenario of significant teacher vacancies, which are to the tune of almost 60-70% to 70 in some states. Teachers' professional development is a weak area in government schools. Almost half the regular teacher vacancies are filled by guests or ad hoc teachers. 
Nearly 95% of teacher education is in private hands and most of it is substandard. This is the harsh reality of schools in India. And as a student, I completely understand the importance of education and how essential it is to help uh, develop in developing me as an individual. More importantly, uh, not only the traditional education is required, now we are part of the 21st century and it is essential that we have the 21st century skills. It is essential uh, to survive in this world now because um, essential, this is so uh, needed because it develops us in all aspects of life. So what the 21st century skills are? Um, they include 12 sets of skills, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, communication, information literacy, media literacy, technology literacy, flexibility, leadership, initiative and productivity and social skills. So each of these skills help us develop uh, and grow as an individual. These skills are essential for us as change makers. We as a society are at a stage where in many aspects of our lives we require changes. So the SDGs are in itself based on the concept of how we are at a stage that many aspects require changes. So to be able to successfully make these changes, it is completely crucial that we are equipped with these skills because um, traditional education alone is not going to be enough to help us with it. Now traditional education includes science, maths and languages. I agree that learning math, science and languages are important, but it is also essential to develop ourselves. Going back to the climate change example, if an individual is equipped with not only knowledge about climate change, knowledge about climate change they are going to get from traditional aspects of education, that's math, science and languages, but with also skills that are 21st century skills, like critical thinking for example, which will help us understand why it is essential to solve an issue how to solve, look for uh, solutions uh, or maybe a skill like initiative that will help us initiate change and lead a movement that will help improve the situation in the world. Uh, moving forward, um, I would uh, like to take another example and this time okay let's look at gender equality okay so when a person is educated right now focusing on the traditional aspect of education she will understand what equality is what discrimination is why it is wrong by studying subjects like social sciences and civics moreover when she's equipped with 21st century skills not only will she be able to understand what it is she will be able to take actions when she when she sees something go wrong she will be media literate she will be having the ability to access and analyze media messages as well as create, reflect and take action using the powerful uh, power of information and communicate it to make a difference in the world. So now when she has access to news, she will understand what all is going wrong and if it calls out for her, she will be in a position where she will be able to understand why taking action is so important and take the action. Um, another example, if she is uh, having 21st century skills, she will have communication skills. She will be able to effectively voice out her opinions and spread awareness about gender equality to people who are unaware about the same. Hence, uh, I come to the conclusion that the key to achieving all eight SDGs is to improving education. It is an investment and it will take some time to bring about change, but it is essential to move forward. In no way am I saying that huge missions like National Action Plan for Climate Change, for example, are not required. And um, it is crucial to keep working on other goals along with this. But we must make sure that we are putting prime focus on education because right now we are still at that stage where we can actually put in efforts and time towards education. And if things keep getting worse, uh, like if climate change keeps getting worse, we will have no other choice but to invest all our resources only climate change so right now is a time if we educate ourselves and everyone um, around us that point probably might not even come so we must all come together as change makers to bring awareness about the importance of education and help in improving the edu uh, improving education in whatever way we can thank you